hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is richard okmola and today i'll be taking notes on how to file your vat returns on the firs tax pro max portal so um i've tried as much as possible to simplify this using a powerpoint presentation so that we can avoid having the network issues um, problem so the first thing you should do um, when you log into the FRS Tax Pro Max portal is to click on your login from this angle after which um, it pops up and shows you the um, login page something like this and then you input your login information then it takes you to a page the dashboard page so you go to the dashboard page and select taxes due where I have my cost of taxes due there you would have your VAT return that is due for the particular um, period so and after that when you click on taxes deal it takes you to the page something like showing something like this um where you have your income tax that is the cit and the vat so you click on the process vat for you to be able to process your vat for the month after which you move to the next slide which is um vat return so when, once you click on process vat it brings up something like this so you are supposed to click on the currency you want to file in as is naira in the event of it if it's naira and then if you are into pharmaceutical products complete all these areas and then click on add record and then proceed but if you are not into pharmaceutical products it's just normal income to, um, companies revenue that you want to attend to straight away go to proceed click on proceed now upon clicking on proceed you have the next page so the goods and services exempt you have done it zero rated services you have done it just click continue to click on proceed like from this place once you click on proceed it goes to the next one and then the next one and next one and next one so this is the good and service rest, um exempt page and then once you have done that you move to the zero rated ex, um goods and then you move to sales adjustment then for vat returns form now when you click on the vat returns form something like this pops up showing you um your vat returns for the period so you have to input your total sales for the period in this space where you have the total sales i'm sure you can see my cursor here then when you do that it automatically computes your sales income subject to vat and the total output vat is calculated here so let's see this now for example so when i put this 3552 million it automatically computes the sales income subject to vat and then the output vat tax then this is not this is not all so you still need to calculate your input vat in the event that you have an input vat that you need to subject um used to offset your output vat so you put the figure for the input vat under the purchase import that is if it's a um, purchase import however if it's a zero rated items a space here also if you go back you have zero rated items um domestic purchases but we have um so we have some other columns where you can put so for this for domestic purchase for zero rated sales you can put it there and then um, but in this event we have for purchase import so only exported and import items are exempt from sale um so they are exempt for input vat as long as they form part of the stock and trade for the period so that's um your input vat and more simplified input vat are items that um you use in the course of producing the sales that you made so let's assume that your input vat on a motor vehicle would be um cost of purchasing the tires that you use so when you purchase a tire which is part of your car that you eventually produced that's an input um vat which you can use to reduce your output vat when you eventually sell the car there's something there's a, there's a calculation around that but to, to, for the purpose of this um filing you i believe you should already have your input and output vat tax um figures so just bring them in and input them here and then after you are done with that the next thing is just to click on proceed and then you have it computed by itself automatically you have your total input and then we have your output net of it against each other so you have your vat payable for the month which is um 22 million in this case so and total tax due is 22 million in the event that you filed late if you filed on or, be, on or after or let me say after the 21st day of the month of filing this vat returns then you automatically have a 50,000 50, penalty which would be computed in this place by itself so the 50,000 naira is the lrp that's the late return penalties which will come up here if you file after the deadline but in the event that you are not filing within the 
deadline period so you still have your normal um, amount payable so what you just have to do is from this stage is to click on this place to declare that information here is correct and then click on submit after clicking on submit the next page shows you is the final submission page and then evidence of where you generate your payment reference number see this payment reference number you now you now take to the bank for payment or you make the payment directly online so that's everything about filing your VAT returns and i hope to see you next time on how to upload your withholding tax returns successfully thank you and do have a wonderful time and um, please don't forget to like my and subscribe to my channel my name is richard okola so you can follow me on linkedin i'm also on facebook as richard okola and also here on link on youtube as richard okola thank you very much and do have a lovely day